to go. Interestingly enough, the word modest gave our players a little bit of trouble. Let's hope you do better with this one. Uh, now we're going to show the word as we usually do. So uh, here it is for the folks at home and here in the studio. Here's the word All right, we're going to be playing for. Everybody sees this one but our players. Here to describe uh, uh, word number one is a seven-year-old. Oh, I like the way she does this or just about anything. Her name is Cassie Feldman. Cassie, take it away. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> See, what happens is when someone bonds them, you don't know how embarrassed you feel. Because when somebody in my class bonds out that someone else in my class loves somebody else in my class or a different class, <laughs> it's spread it around the room in a split second. <laughs> my best friend. Mariah, she once found one, and it was so funny, because this girl, my, another girl in my class named Tashana, she <laughs> wrote it, and it was so funny. And she has a boyfriend or something, and it was, it was like, dear Tashana, I love you very much, and it was funny. And then she found another one, and it was Tashana's again. And then she, Tashana had written, um, like, you're too old for me, and I'm thrilled with you. Okay, Cassie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Remember, again, as children describing the yeah, word, what yeah. do you think it is, Amory? Well, I wrote many of these. Uh, love note? Love notes, love ah! letters is the right answer. You got it. That's the way it works. Now, Love letter, love note, that's it. Now, before we go on to the next word, we'd like right now to show you the way another child or children in this case, in this case uh, interprets the same word. Here is a team we have here. The names are Daisy Rumpf and an old friend of ours, Tata Amare, and they're defining love letter. They're eight and seven years old, Daisy and Tata, whenever you're ready. I always do this to my boyfriend. His name is Patrick. Okay. <laughs> At least I have one. <laughs> He's cute. Okay. Cute. I write. Mm. And he's very handsome. <laughs> Always put in my pocket for safety. <laughs> and <laughs> let me see. I always write hearts on it all over the paper. I put it in an envelope with a heart stamp on it. I mail it. Well, okay. Now, he, he writes back to me. What does he say? Oh, baby. <laughs> Love letter described by Daisy Rum and Tata Amare. <laughs> I golly, that's a whole Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> a new Laverne and Shirley we got going. Okay, it's one to nothing. Anne Marie's ahead, Francine. We're going to begin this one with you. And once again, we're going to show the word. This time, the people in the audience and the folks at home will have an idea to know what this word is. David Crowd, who's eight and a half years old, will describe the word for you. All right, David. He was supposed to, I think he was the one who parted the Red Sea. I forget. And um, he was supposed to, um, I think he say, no, he didn't say, um, he I don't really know that much about him. I don't know if I really just. Okay, now. Uh, Francine. Two things I say from time to time. One is the luck of the draw, depending <laughs> on what clue you get. And two, remember these are definitions from children. Do the best you can with what you have. Oh, and I know that it can't be, but he just described Moses. <laughs> I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing with what you said. I'm really saying that is not what we were looking for. Same word now for you, Anne Marie. Here's Christian Williamson. <laughs> Interesting name. Christian Williamson, who's nine years old, <laughs> describing the same word. Christian? And he's already a superstar. And I couldn't understand why they made fools of themselves. That was dumb. A dumb, a dumb movie. He's already, already a superstar. That was Christian Williamson. Now. <laughs> 
Your shot at it, Anne Marie. What do you think? Well, he may be dumb, but he's Charlton Heston. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> we've got we've gone from Moses to Charlton Heston. I, I'm not the one who say who say we're going down here. We have one more one more description now. Francine, remember these are children describing. Here is an eight-year-old from Tennessee describing the same word. Her name Sarah Brooks. Sarah, please. He's a savior and he died on the cross and he's God's son and he's real nice to people and you can trust him and you can believe in him and someday if you believe in him a lot you can go to heaven there you go now I uh... <laughs> What do you think, Francine? I know that superstar. That's Jesus Christ. Exactly the word we were looking for and the point for you. Okay. Score is one to one. It's all tied up. And we'll be back with our fast play round right after this message for you. As promised. From now on, each child will be defining a different word. As soon as you recognize the word, interrupt with your signal. Each right answer will be worth two points. When you hear the school bell, that's when time is up. Whoever is ahead at that point wins the game, $500 and a chance at $5,000. Both of you now ready to interrupt. Here is Angela Stone with the first word. Angela. They're like a plate, except they're smaller and you... What do you think it is, Amber? Saucer. Saucer's the right answer, too. For you, you lead three to one. Hang in there and get ready. Next word, Adam Kadri has it. Adam. This is the imaginary line on the earth that... Anne Marie. Equator. Equator's right. You picked up another two. Five to one. Here with the next word is Gary Cohen. Gary. It is something that is made out of wax. What do you think, Francis? Candle. No, we have, we consider that wrong. The entire rest of the description is yours, Anne-Marie. Gary, pick it up. And the wax has a special color, like red, green, blue, and you, you could draw with it, and one of the brands is called Crayola. What do you think, Anne-Marie? Crayon. Crayon is the right answer. Okay, tough break for you, Francine. Both of you now, both ready to interrupt Sarah Young. Sarah. Something you drink. It's also um, a letter in the alphabet. Anne Marie. Milk. <laughs> okay. Now, now, that's the wrong answer. Francine, you have the entire rest of the description. Okay, Sarah, pick it up. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, U, V. <laughs> if that doesn't give it to you, what do you think? T. Good. Okay, you got it. I, I can just see Anne Marie in school. QRS Milk UV. I didn't pass. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you ready to interrupt now? David Kraut. David, please. That's a game where you have a king and. What do you think, Anne Marie? Chess. Chess is right. You're piling up a lead. Next word, Mayor Subaru. Mayor. Well, it's it's a big ocean. They uh, say it's the second biggest. And Marie's first. Atlantic. Atlantic's right. You pick up another two. Yes. Still can catch up at two points, Francine. Alex D'Alessio. Alex. It's like a clam, but... That's Francine. Oyster. Oyster, right. You pick up two. Next word. Austin Sincock has it. Austin? Looks like a little greens. What do you think? Sand. No, rest of the description belongs to Anne Marie. Austin, pick it up, sir. And it's really sweet. And you put it like on your cereal, like Cheerios, when it's um when it's not sweetened. What do you think, Oz? Uh, <laughs> Anne, Anne Marie. Marie. Yeah. Sugar. Austin gave it to you. Sugar's right. <laughs> Next word. Josh Shapiro. Josh. She's a little girl, and she met a big wolf. Anne Marie. Little Red Riding Hood. That's the girl we're looking for. You pick up another couple. That's it. Stop. 
I don't have to tell you, Anne Marie, you're the winner. Come on over here. Careful. There you go. Hello there, and congratulations. Your little name tag is dribbly there. Put, you fix your name tag while I take a moment to thank Fras and Francine Osterlitz very thank much. You. Francine, you've been fun. It's been nice having you here. Uh, $6,500 and all our thanks from Chow's Play. Thank Goodbye, you. Francine. Bye -bye. Well, Anne Marie. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all right. No, I, I don't blame you for laughing. It's a nice, pleasant experience. Now, you have 500 bucks, and you're going to be back here to play the triple play game in just a moment. You'll have a chance at 5,000. Now, you get yourself ready to do that while we go out and pick up some money. We'll be back right after you. See you.